this month, an exclusive first look at all four new maps for Battlefield 3 Aftermath. We see Mass Effect 3 and FIFA 13 on the Wii U. And talk Army of Two, The Devil's Cartel and Mass Effect 3 Omega. You can see highlights from those features on this show and you can click on the bar above to go to the full features at any time. This is November's Pwned. Oh, hey look, there's a subscribe button oh, yeah. on the screen. <laughs> click it. Right, let's kick things off. We're joined now by Nicholas Fagres from DICE via Skype. Nicholas, tell us about some of these new Battlefield 3 Aftermath maps. Yeah, so the first map is called Marcas Monolith. That is basically a former financial district that has now, you know, been devastated by the earthquake. And you will have this surviving building in the center of this map, which is very, very tall, and the insides of that building have collapsed. So we have a very interesting gameplay taking place, like a very vertical gameplay taking place inside this massive building. So what other map can we look forward to? We have Epicenter, which is uh, another part of the city featuring a huge um, traffic central, so to speak. It's a big road, big crossroad, and it has been, it's, it has, it's very close to the epicenter of the earthquake. It has seen some heavy, heavy destruction. So, th so that map is very, very destroyed, and you will not really kind of recognize how um, how this city looked before because it's so altered now. Thanks, Nicholas. And if you want to hear about the other two maps, Azidi Palace and Tala Market, then all you need to do is click on the link above for the full feature. Or if you're not watching on Mac or PC, then just search for Pwned November Battlefield on YouTube. Now, Mass Effect 3 Omega is coming to your console next month. And I talked to Fabrice Condominas from Bioware Montreal, who told me all about it and just how big it is. Oh, it's the biggest DLC we ever made for the Mass Effect franchise. It's a four hours long gameplay. There's a lot of new features. We got two new weapons, we got two new enemies, we get new powers, and of course, we're playing with new henchmen because uh, you can play with Arya as a henchman. And we're also introducing the new, uh, new character, which is the first female Torian of the franchise called Nyrene. Fabrice also told me about a brand new faction making their debut in Omega. There's a faction called the Talons that nobody really expected. And it was kind of a small drug smuggler faction, but they were extremely organized. So suddenly they appeared as the Omega Resistance, we could really call them like against Cerberus Troop. And this is definitely one of the main things Shepard, Arya, Nairwin will have to deal with. If you want to hear more from Fabrice talking about Omega, then all you need to do is click on the link above for the full interview, or you can search Pwned November Mass Effect on YouTube. Speaking of Mass Effect, Nintendo's Wii U is out in the next couple of weeks, and we thought we'd look at a couple of familiar EA titles to see just how they work on the console's fancy touchscreen controller. We started with FIFA 13 with producer Matthew Pryor, who told us what's new on the Wii U. One of the innovations we have is you can now lift that up and you can look through into the world. It kind of puts you on the field, a kind of really different perspective. And you can look around and take in the stadium and you see it from the player's perspective. After FIFA, we then spoke to Bioware producer Melanie Faulkner, who told us about a new weapon exclusive to Mass Effect 3's Wii U version. There is a Wii U exclusive weapon, the Laden. It's a heavy duty weapon. It issues a six missile Payload on your enemies. <laughs> so it's quite a beast. Yes, it's a problem solver. It gets rid of everything. <laughs> and then for homes where you have to share a TV, somebody wants to watch TV, you want to keep playing, you can actually have it so that at a touch of a button, you're playing completely on the gamepad. And it looks really amazing, like really stunning HD, doesn't it? It looks awesome. You never have to stop playing the game. That switch from TV to controller feature is genius. No more gaming interruptions. Got to be a good thing. There's lots more information on FIFA 13 and Mass Effect 3 for the Wii U in the full feature. Now, all you need to do is click on the link above or you can search for Pwned November Wii U on YouTube. You guys should know the drill by now. So, do you know what's next? Yeah, an army of two, the Devil's Cartel feature. Oh, and uh, what gave that away? Read ahead on the script. Oh, but... You didn't, what, oh. Anyway, I caught up with producer Greg Rizzer who told me all about the overkill system and how it makes playing cooperatively more crucial than ever. Seriously? It's how you and I play cooperatively, the more we're gonna earn overkill. When we earn overkill and we trigger overkill, we add a new layer to the game, which is this, you know, incredible destruction and everything in the world becomes really destructible and you can kind of see the oohs and ahs from the people that have played the demo and seen that kind of stuff. So, yeah, Overkill is really the big payout. It's a very simple system we have now. It's like play cooperatively, earn Overkill and get to see stuff blow up. 
Greg told us lots more about the plot and the characters in Army of Two, The Devil's Cartel. So again, if you want to see the full feature, all you need to do is click on the link above or search Pwned November Army on YouTube. Don't forget all the individual videos are also available on EA Vision's YouTube channel. And make sure you don't miss out on anything by subscribing to us. You can do so by clicking the link on screen now. Well, that's it for another show. Next month, do join us because the Christmas gift we'll be giving you will be more features about your favourite games. We'll see you then. Bye. Bye.